Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Jesus wants you. Um, Prophetess Nikki Pratt. Listen, um, I wanted to share this this video. Um, do this video and share with you guys um, something powerful. God is is definitely answering the saints of God's prayers in this hour, and uh, we must pray. Because in the book of John, chapter 4, verse 23, well, from 20, verse 20 through 23, um, he said, Woman, there will, there will come such an hour, and I'm paraphrasing this, that you, those who worship the Lord, will have to worship him in spirit and in truth. And um, we must pray. We must pray, and I'm beginning to see, and I know a lot of you have, that why it is so imperative for us to pray. We can't pray enough, and I've been saying over my last few videos that we need to increase our prayer. I did a Godcation, what I call a Godcation, where you know we you get off to yourself and you pray and you pray and you worship. And spend time with the Lord in your Bible or whatever. But prayers are being answered. And the Bible says the prayer of a right of the righteous man availeth much. Okay? So what I have been praying about uh most times in my prayer is for the people, of course, in the entertainment world, Illuminati, as many of you have heard, like Beyonce, Kanye West, Jay-Z, um, Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, all of those, okay? Those are the people that need prayer in this hour. But before I even get into that, let me, um, I want you, you know you cannot come to this channel without your Bible. So quickly, um, get your Bibles. I'm going to do a prayer, but I'm doing it a little different. I'm going to uh, read a prayer out the Bible, and there's a reason, reason for me. I have cut my hand up all week. And uh, the, the last video, I had a Band-Aid on this hand. It was coming loose. And now, okay, these are not good Band-Aids. Must not be, but... The band-aid is coming loose on this finger, so I'm going to have to just take it off. But anyway, um, I don't lost my train of thought. Okay, help me hold it goes. All right, so anyway, turn your Bible to the, the book of Matthew chapter 6. Okay, I'm going to read from verse 5 through verse 14. Okay, it says, And when thou prayest, Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when we when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. I'm going to go ahead and read verse 15. 
But if ye forgive not men that trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespass. So basically, I wanted to read that uh, that prayer. And for many of you who feel like you don't know how to pray, pray as the Father said we should pray. And, um, you know, a lot of people think they have to, you know, they get afraid to pray because, you know, they hear others pray and they figure, oh, I should pray like that. No. If you feel like until so you get comfortable of praying and praying around people, it is 537, then 5 minutes and 37 seconds. I keep saying that number 37 like crazy. But um, if you're uncomfortable praying, this is the way to pray. Now, I wanted to focus in on this prayer because it says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Look, we are to pray without ceasing, as the Bible says. And we have to pray on earth so that the will of God will be done in heaven. Amen? And the reason I say that is, God said in his word that it is his will that no man should perish. That black, white, Jew, Gentile, uh, Chinese, black and these, high 57. And I'm being facetious, but the point I'm trying to make is, and if you are racist, get over yourself. Because when you get to heaven, heaven is going to be full of people that you claim and that you don't like. So I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm warning you, you better get on the right side, and you better get over yourself, because heaven is broad. It's all kinds of people, all color, form, fashion is in heaven, okay? So he said it is his will that no man should perish. I pray for, I did a... Uh, a video about um, and let me show you how the Lord answered my prayer and I just had this dream recently and the revelation came early Saturday morning when I'm up the Lord had me up dealing with these number 37 okay and I got two notifications one dealing with the number 37 just out of the nothing by coincidence and then I get this other guy's um, dream. And when I'm reading the dream, it's like a download of interpretation start coming, and I'll read it to you. But in essence, I did a video, uh, let me see when I did it, May 7th, 2016, and uh, Beyonce had some concert that was coming up. And I did a warning message to Beyonce, to Beyonce and the Beehive. So let me just tell you, um, let me see how I should do this. Okay. Let me tell you my dream. Okay. Wednesday night, I had this dream that I was in a room. I was in a room at my grandmother's house. And the room was dark. I mean, you couldn't see anything. But I could see this bee, this one little bee flying around in the room. And I was like, hmm, this bee in here is dark. He didn't try to attack me. That's that's what I'm thinking in, in the dream. But And I'm looking at it. It's just flying around, minding its own business. And then it lands on this curtain. And I mean, it's dark, but I can see this bee on the curtain. It makes no sense. It didn't me after I woke up. So after I saw the bee laying on the curtain, I thought, wow, and I woke up. So anyway, you know, I, I thought to myself, what on earth could that mean? Didn't think, you know, no more about it, but the dream was very vivid but short. And um, this morning, that morning, Saturday morning, this past Saturday morning, I get this comment. Uh, from a viewer, I don't know if he's a subscriber or not, but I'll read it to you. 
It says, hello, Nikki. I just had a dream about Beyonce and woke up to your video on YouTube. So ironic. Let me just start by saying that I'm not a beehive. However, I do listen to her music and so many things that you're saying in your video are so identifiable. So let me tell you about the dream. I met Beyonce while she was on the tour, and she asked me to come with her, so I went. She took me with her to a rehearsal and handed me a contract for $38,000, and she left. So I'm trying to figure out what the 38000 was for. Annual salary? Monthly? I wasn't sure. So I went to look for Beyonce to ask her to elaborate on the contract. I found her with a group of people rehearsing, and I approached her to ask for clarification on the contract. She was on one side of the piano, and I was on the other side. Um, I was on the other, and there was this woman, tall and dark, with this dark leather cape outfit. This female raised her arms up and turned into this demon and began to chat and to speak very angry. I then turned and looked at Beyonce like, do you see this? And Beyonce just stood there with, his, with this pleased look on her face. I then turned back toward the demon and began speaking in tongue, praise God, um, toward the demon, and then I woke up. I wanted to share this with you because there is a reason why I woke up to your video. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. So um, I sent this message. Wow, yes, there was a reason uh, you were led to my video. The nature of the dream spells evil. You mentioned being on one side and she on another. Looks like the Lord is showing sides in this dream, good versus evil. Which master would you choose? Scripture that says we can't serve, there's scripture that says we can't serve two masters. Love one and hate the other. Beyonce in your dream was pleased with the evil you saw. You weren't. The video is a warning video to the beehives, which means listeners of her music watch this. I just got revelation on a dream I just had Wednesday night. I saw a bee flying around in a room I was standing in, one bee. He wasn't trying to attack me or anything. Then I saw it fly and land on a curtain in the room. Then I woke up. Hmm. I think you was that little bee. I remember saying in my dream, why is this bee in the dark? So it was no mistake this video was in your YouTube feed. Praise God. He is so good to us. He is saying to you, dear, don't listen to this music. It's evil. As I just looked at my clock, it's 8.38. It had just turned from 37. And then, but notice he said that the contract was $38,000. The number 38 in the Bible means to break faith or harlot or um, prostitutes, to break a covenant. Uh, several meanings I saw in that. And then I said, she gave you a contract, which means binding or a covenant. I bind it in Jesus' name, I said. The number 37, which means inheritance from God, which also means cutting a covenant. A covenant was made with Abraham. Stay away from the music and anything pertaining to her. Have no part with darkness, the Bible says. And then I said, if you want to support her, support her by praying for her uh, to come out of darkness. Now, in this dream, is clear. I mean, because if you notice in the beginning, he said that uh, he wasn't a beehive. Well, if, you're, if we're listening to, if you're a constant listening to her music, you may feel like, oh, I'm not a part of the beehive or whatever. But 
the whole point is the music that um, she sings is it has subliminal messages in it and um, I mean one of her songs as I talked about in that warning video it says that she turns the pages with with her menses which is menses is a word that we use in the medical field for menstrual cycle of what women go through okay so who would say something like that and we supposed to be and I'm not judging by no means you like it I love it but I'm just saying if he says depart from evil and do good and praise God this scripture is in the same chapter that um, I just read from you the prayer but in chapter 6 same chapter verse 24 says um, but it, well, let me read 20, let me, let me back up. I'm going to read uh, verses 22 through 24. God is so good. It says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one mm, 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 and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. So perfect, God, you're so good. I, I mean, that's the scripture that I was definitely talking about and I was going to talk about, but it's, it's right here in my face. When I looked up, I saw it, I was like, wow. So we're living in the time, and, and we're, we're in the ninth hour. And he said, the Lord says, when we see all these signs, look to the heavens for our redemption draweth nigh. So if we see all these signs, then we must, we have to, in this hour, also make a decision to choose who we are going to serve. But God is so good and so merciful that he warns us. You know, indeed, this particular, this, um, person that reached out to me that there's it he mentioned it was a coincidence there is no coincidence with, with God the my video being in his YouTube feed right after he awakened from a dream and it that uh, video is a warning video now I'm gonna show you something I also did a, a video Right after I did that video, um, let's see if I can pull it up, of a intercessory prayer, praying for the listeners, the beehives, and Beyonce. Uh, not there. So prayers are being answered. Now let me just, while I look for this, hit on Kanye West. Many of you probably have heard about Kanye West going on and, and ranting and raving about uh, some things that he, he sees or, you know, that is going on in the world. But actually, it is 1237. Well, no, I'm sorry. Okay, this is, no, this is what I want to show you guys. I went to go find my um, video that I did about this, and it was 12. 37 on um, on the clock. Look at that. 12.37 today. So right before, right when I got ready to do this video. And I noticed that I see this 37 like all the other numbers, 111, 444, 333. I see it at the beginning of something or at the ending of something. So, um, but it says Nikki does intercessory prayer for Beyonce and Beehives. You see that title? Nikki does intercessory prayer for Beyonce and Beehives. So it's like the Lord was showing me, Nikki, keep keep doing it. Your prayers is working. He and when I pray, I pray, Lord, let them have a divine. I think I even said it in this prayer, a divine. Um, 
visit or uh, speak to them in their dreams. I pray that all the time. Speak to them in their dreams, Lord God. Let them see the light. Let them come into the revelation knowledge of the truth about this. And then I pray for Beyonce. I pray for people like Kanye West. Kanye West is, uh, he's wrestling in the spirit, saints. And I'm saying all that to, to say this. The crowd of people that Kanye was threatening, raving about, and a lot of people saying that he's crazy or whatever, those people, his audience is not going to pray for him. But we that have been called as uh, light, we must pray for him because the, the Lord, I mean, these kind of things that come in the news, we think, oh, it's just happening because Kanye is crazy, whatever, whatever. No, we have to pray. We have to intercess. And I know people, some people think that, you know, you, well, you have to be an intercessor to do intercessory prayer. No, the devil is a lie. He, the Bible says pray without ceasing. And then, let me tell you, let me share something with you. If you're going through something, uh, like some type of trial or a sickness or you need deliverance or healing or something mentally, anything, I'm going to show you how to get out of that quick, fast, and hurt. Jesus did it. I mean, there's several, it was just 2137 on the call. There were several uh, instances in the Bible of this. What I'm getting at is take your focus off yourself and put it on somebody else. Be humble in that way. As soon as you do it, you will get delivered. Whatever problem you're going through, the Lord is going to bless you and heal you, deliver you, uh, answer your prayer. Christ did it on the cross. They had did all kinds of stuff on, with him beat him, gave him vinegar instead of water. They uh, beat him, put nails in his feet. But he said what? Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He even saved a thief on the cross. Job chapter 42, he did all, I mean, he had friends coming and saying all kinds of stuff. But Job prayed for his friends, and when he did, his afflictions and deliver and uh, deliverance came at that time. Um, so, saints of God, we have to pray in the South. Pray for things like that. Like, you know, last week I was kind of feeling just a little, I wouldn't say defeated, but like put out. Because I have been praying ever since I uh, spoke to you guys about uh, there was a prophetess that had some, Things she was saying, pray for UCLA, Notre Dame, um, and pray for the policemen because she saw the spirit of death around them and uh, things like that. So I shared that so in help, in hopes that you guys would help pray against that situation. So I've been praying for that. And when I, when I, uh, and then pray for the children, she said, correct, right? So I was watching the news, like every time I watched the news last week, it was the policeman getting shot. And I'm like, Lord, what is going on? I'm praying for this. And you know what I heard? Power in numbers. I Meaning there's not enough people praying. We have to be able, the prayers of the saints of God have to go up and be able to penetrate the evil, the darkness that is out. Because the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much fervent. Uh, we got to continue to pray. We can't pray about these things and leave it alone. And if nothing else happens in Kanye's situation, we must what? We must trust and hope and have faith. My prayer is, when I prayed for Kanye last night, is that he, uh, God gets the glory, and then when Kanye comes out of this dark place that he's in, that a lot of other people that will come out. Like, I think recently, early this year, a lot of people were talking about Chris Brown, saying that he was talking about God, God a lot and he was basically crying out. And that's what I pray for. I pray for that they have uh, visitations, uh, divine interventions. 
that's the word I was looking for, sorry, divine interventions and, and visitations and they dream from the Lord, from ministering spirits. Uh, divine people would come up, um, ministering angels, whomever, uh, would, would come up to them in their daily life and speak a word in season for them. You know, we have to pray things like that because God says no matter what they do, no matter how bad, um, what's his name, Lil Wayne, his music is and, and how evil and how, God still loves them. And he loves us when we were in our sin. I remember there would be times I used to watch um, a lot of televangelist type things would come on TV and because, you know, I had been hurt by the church or whatever, uh, or for whatever reason, I would see stuff come on the TV and I'd be like, I don't want to say it. And I would make noises like, I didn't want to hear nothing about God. And I would, it was sad. I was in darkness. But now I'm running to the Lord. I want to hear everything that God has for me about me. I want to hear it. I want to do it. I want to know about it. I want to know the truth because truth is life. So with that said, I need you guys to pray. Pray, pray, pray like never before. If you can't, at that time, you can't think of what to say. Say the Our Father prayer and just say, Lord, I'm, I'm praying and I'm calling out. And this is another thing. Um. What is it? Psalms 34 talks about crying out. There's a lot of instances all over the Bible where it says, cry out, cry out, cry out to the Lord, cry out, cry out. If we are made into the Lord's image, and when we pray, we should pray for the, the heart of Christ, the love of Christ. Um, if we create it in his image, a lot of our prayers are answered when we cry out. You know why I think, and it is my conviction, is because that's exactly what the Lord did when he was dying on the cross with his arms stretched wide and his head hung. Before he gave up the ghost, he cried out. The Bible says he cried out. Okay? And there's, there's something in this. You know, Second uh, Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith. So if you humble yourself and you cry out to the Lord, he will hear your prayer. Okay? Amen. So uh, there's going to be several videos that come out today. I have uh, a warning video to do with the uh, northern Louisiana and um, uh, the southern states. And, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to do a video just kind of, this is just going to kind of open the door to the number 37. Of uh, what I found is 1101, and I'm getting ready to end the video. You see this? 1101. Um, so I, I told you that that's how it happened. But in this particular video that I'm going to do uh, regarding the number 37, and this is just kind of going to be like the icing off the beautiful cake uh, of a revelation that is coming out about it. But it's a lot involved with that number 37. But um, we're going to learn together. How about that? So you guys stay prayed up and stay looking up. I love you. See you next video. Thanks.